what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. Where's that? Right there? Right there. Never remember. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-O-Y Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video started. All right, y'all. I have to admit that the last day I have gotten like no work done. And the reason being is because all the drama that's happening. They have the announcement they're trying to pr proceed with the impeachments, with the D Donald Trump impeachment, and then all that drama. And then today they released the, the transcripts with the Ukraine and the phone calls. And I have been, I know it's bad to say. I know it's, it's even bad to think, but I have been all about it. I have been all about all this drama. Just everything. It's like a soap opera unwinding before our eyes. But this is real life. This is really happening. This is like if we went back in the time and they had the Nixon and the Watergate stuff, like living through that time, things we only re read about in the history books. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to tell you. The transcripts today had, me, had lots of questions uprising in my head. So I thought, I, I read them. I read them and I don't, they say it's not the full transcript. Some people say it's the full, some people say it's not this and that, but I'm just saying what was released. So let's, why don't we read this a little list together and, and, and discuss it and react to it. Are y'all ready to do this? This is between the transcripts with the, the Ukraine president, uh, Zelensky. I hope I said his name right. And then President Trump from the U.S., all right? So we'll we'll start with the what they were releasing. Trump says, congratulations on your victory. We all watched in the U.S. And you did a terrific job. Number one, you're lying. Maury, Maury said that's a lie. We all watched from the United States. Wait, nobody watched from the United States about the Ukraine election. You know that's a lie. Y'all can't tell me. Anybody from the United States can't tell me that they actually paid attention to any kind of elections from any other country, much less the Ukraines. You know that's a lie. And I doubt that really. But maybe Trump watched it. Maybe he did. But he said we all did. You know, Melania wasn't watching that. You know it. So I'm just saying right there. <laughs> right there. You know that's a lie. We, know, mm -mm, we I didn't even know they had a Ukraine president. And, or I didn't know if it was a dictator, president, or nothing until this. And I definitely didn't know his name. So, and on top of it, y'all want to get, all right, I'll talk about this in a minute. So let's go on. Zelensky re responded. We're absolutely right, Mr. President. We won big. We worked hard for this. We worked a lot. But I want to confess to you that I had an opportunity to learn from you. He's already talking about he learned from Trump. So I'm just saying right here, I think he's a fan. We learn from you. We use quite a few of your skills and knowledge and able to use it as an example of our election. And yes, it's true. These were unique elections. We're in a unique situation, blah, blah, blah. I'm able to tell you the following. The first time you call me to congratulate me when I won president election. And the second time you call me when my party won the parliament election, I think I should run more often. So you can call me more often and we can talk over the four more often. For, oh, look, this is, this guy's smart though. He has done his research on the Trump. He knows he's smoothing him up. He is smart. Now, let me tell you a little a get little research with him that I looked into because you know I start doing my research on all this stuff. The Zelensky that was, you know, elected into presidency there, he was never like in the politics before. He was a comedian on TV. I didn't even notice. He was the comedian on the TV over there and now the president. Well, I can tell because he, look, he is is working his skills right here, schmoozing them up. And, and even they said that Trump laughed. It's a very good idea. I think our country is very happy about it. Like he is, it's working. That's what I'm saying. It's working. He's laughing and oh, I like him. And then Zelensky says, well, to tell you the truth, we're trying to work hard because we wanted to drain the swamp here in our country. He even starts bringing out the Trump sayings. Ooh. <laughs> this guy right here, like I'm, I'm just 
just impressed the way he's working him. That's all I'm saying is I'm impressed. He's started to we learn from you and now he's bringing out the Trump sayings. This, oh, I can see why he was elected too. Mr. Zelensky comedian schmoozing them over, schmoozing over the people. Talking about, you're a great teacher for us in that. Tyler Trump, he's a traitor. All right, all right, let's keep going because we get, there's a lot more we're going to discuss about this. He said, well, it's nice of you to say that. I will say that I do a lot for Ukraine. We spend a lot of our effort and a lot of our time, much more than the European countries are doing, and they should be helping more than they are. Germany does nothing for, does almost nothing for you. All they do is talk, and I think something they really should ask them about. When I'm speaking to An or Angela uh, Merkel, she talks Ukraine, but she doesn't do anything. A lot of other European countries. This was my first red flag, I'm going to tell you all right now. Because first I started reading this and I started to cringe a little bit. I was like, I was like, oh, you talking bad about the other countries. Oh, like that is not right to do, right? Like you, this is like other allied countries too, aren't they? Ain't a German. See, I don't even know. I'm bad at this because I don't even know the allies and all this kind of stuff. But like, why are you going to right off the bat? You talking to one of the other countries up in there, but you start dissing the other countries all around there. That was my number one flag. Like that was a not even we got to the bad stuff that everybody else was mad about and stuff. But this is what I started like, oh, this is not good. That's when I was, I was like, this ain't good. You already you already dissing these other countries. You can't be just keeping a positive tone. You start dissing these other. They gonna be mad at us. All right, let me keep going. All right, president says, you know, he's dissing the other European countries. They do nothing. I wouldn't say that it's a reciprocal necessity necessarily because things are happening that are not good in the United States, but it's very, but has been very, very good to the United States has been very, very good to Ukraine. And president Zelensky is like, you're right. Not only a hundred percent, but a thousand percent. I can tell you, he talked to the Angela Merkel and they met with her and talked with Macron and told him they're not doing quite as much like he's agreeing with I'm like but maybe this is the thing maybe President Trump did his research too he's like oh maybe they know they ain't doing nothing so I'm gonna I'm gonna throw that in and and down them I don't know I don't know but I was just saying I was like oh I don't even like that right there all right it turns out though logically European Union should be our biggest partner but technically the United States is a much bigger partner than the European Union and I'm grateful because the United States do a, quite a lot for the Ukraine, much more than European Union. Oh, he keeps going on with this. You do, uh, to, and especially when we're talking about the sanctions against the Russian or Federation, I would also, also like to thank you for the great support in the area of defense. We're ready to continue to cooperate for the next step. Specifically, we're um, specifically we are uh, almost ready to buy more javelins for the United States and, for defense purposes. So right there, he's talking about he wants some javelins from the United States. And then Trump immediately replies. He says, I would like you to do us a favor, though. So right there, they, that's where that's where the peoples get mad. He's like, they ask for like stuff. And he's like, yeah, but you want this? I want you to do a favor, though. That's why they get mad, because he's asking for favors. For, because our country has been a lot through a lot. And Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say crowd strike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people, the server, they say Ukraine has it, like the, the crowd site server. There's a lot of things that went on, the whole situation. I think you're surrounding yourself with the same people, blah, 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 blah. As you saw yesterday, the whole nonsense ended very poorly. Performance by a man named Robert Mueller in an incompetent performance. And they say that it all started with the Ukraine. Whatever you can do, it's important that you that you do this, do it as if it's that's possible. So number one, I didn't, when I first read that, I was like, I don't know. All right, crowd strike, you wanted that, okay. But then I did my research, I was like, what is this crowd strike? Apparently, this crowd strike, let me bring up, because the crowd strike, let me read it, is a cybersecurity firm that first disclosed a massive Russian operation to infiltrate the Democratic National Committee servers in the months before 2016 present election so they the ones that that was the firm that was hired to look into like all the hacks and all that stuff all right so he wants to know about that but then i'm like 
this is what it got me going. I was like, and then Robert Mueller, because remember Mueller was like, oh, he like confirmed Russia was in with the hacks and 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 the site. And, but this is what, I was, what concerned me. I was like, well, first, why does why does President Trump even want this? This is the question I have. Well, now we know what the crowd strike is. This is the question I have. Why does he want this information with the crowd strike and the servers? Number one, does he want to like prove that like Russia wasn't involved? Okay, maybe that's it, that Russia wasn't involved in the hacking. And I can maybe see that. I know, cause you know, he has the, the ego. He wants to be like, oh, I won this. Russia didn't help me, blah, 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 blah. Right, I can say, all right. Number two, like I know I was looking on the Twitter and everything and they saying like on the servers, maybe that's where all the Hillary's emails that the 30,000 or whatever was deleted. And then I, then I, if that's the case, I, I'm like, oh, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. If that's why you want to look for the Hillary emails, number one, why right now? You're the president, you won, right? I can see maybe clearing that other air with the hacks and all that stuff. But why are you still talking about the email? Even today, I watched him because the the, um, the 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 Ukraine president in, is in the U.S. right now, and they had him on the, on the news, and they were talking. Still, the Hillary emails came up in that discussion today. This is this is what I got news for you. And they say they and then number number three is they say he's using this right. They they say. This information he's using for elect and um, for getting elected again. What well, this is the info. This is what I have news. Hillary ain't running in 2020. <laughs> Why is this still a concern? If you're gonna be running for the president again, Hillary ain't running for president in 2020. Like, is that still the platform you're gonna use? I don't get this. Maybe Elizabeth, let me tell you who's running. You got to watch out for Elizabeth Warren, right? She's running. They say she's a top contender. They still got the Bernie Sanders coming back. They got lots of other people. And of course, the Joe Biden, which we're going to get to. But Hillary ain't running. Why are you still trying to, oh, this is getting on my nerves. Like, you're going to be giving this country the javelins. Ain't that the big missiles and all that stuff? Because you want to talk about Hillary's emails? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this. You're acting a fool. First, you're going to be talking. All right. Now, let's keep going on. Let's keep going on because that's the all right, the crowd strike. Whatever you can do is important. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, yes. Then Zelensky, it's very important that, you know, everything you mentioned, Mr. President, is very important that we open any further, you know, future cooperations. We're ready. And they going on about, you know, ambassadors, experienced ambassadors and getting people in there that you like. And I will personally tell you, one of my assistants talked to, spoke with Mr. Giuliani just recently. We had very much that Mr. Giuliani, Mr. Giuliani will travel to the Ukraine and we'll come meet with them once he comes to Ukraine. Why? This is, isn't Rudy Giuliani Trump's lawyer? He ain't an ambassador or nothing. He don't even, he used to be like the mayor of the New York, but he ain't even that no more in New York City. Why is he doing all this stuff? A lawyer. Ain't he supposed to be doing the paperwork and the patents? I don't know what lawyer stuff do. I know what lawyers don't do. They don't go to these other countries. And they don't go in these other countries and start making these political and I'm... All right. See, I, this is getting on my nerves. This is done all wrong. Yes, like people wanted to drain the strong, drain the swamp and all this stuff. But this is what happens when you do it because you got people up in there and they just doing the, like the, the, they are sending in people that they they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I guess I can't say that because he wasn't. A, I can't even be that mad at that because Giuliani was the mayor, right? So he does have some political like uh, you know experience maybe that's why but then why don't you just make them like the ambassador go over there why why don't why don't you send the ambassador don't we have ambassadors for all the countries why don't you send the ambassador for ukraine over there why are you sending the lawyer i i just can't this is getting on my nerves already this is like strike three i'm getting on it's getting on my nerves let's keep going let's keep going before all right 
sending him, I guarantee, as a president, or your, all investigations will be, all right, done here. And I can assure, that I can assure you. Okay, that was Zelensky. Then Trump says, good, because I heard you had a prosecutor that was very good and he was shut down. And that's unfair. A lot of people talk about that and the way they shut your very good prosecutor down. Mr. Giuliani is a respected man. He was the mayor of New York. We know, great mayor. We, he is just, Rudy is very much, he's going on and on about him. Going on and on about Rudy. He knows about the crowdsource and all this. The former ambassador from the U.S., the woman. The woman was bad. He don't, so he's going to talk about Rudy, Mr. Giuliani. He even knows about the, 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 crowd, the, the crowd strike, the crowd, but he don't even know the woman's name. <laughs> Why am I even talking about that? Like, this is, oh, all right. The woman was bad news. He don't even know the woman's name. All right, then uh, people are dealing with the Ukraine, bad news. The other thing, there's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution. A lot, a lot of people want to find out about that. Whatever you can do with the attorney general, that would be great. Biden also went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution. So if you can look into that, it sounds horrible to me. See, that's right there is the big thing right there, right? That's what they saying, the Biden, not even all the other stuff that I had the problems with. So he's wanting them to look into Biden's son and Biden's stuff. That's not good, right? That's when they saying, because Biden is like his big contender in this next election. That's the only reason. Why else he want, cares about this? You know, that's the only reason he wants Tim, the, the other country, looking into Biden's stuff because he can go and talk bad about it, bring it out in the open that'll hurt Biden's campaign. That's using like, that's like against the the laws, right? Or something that because, and this is what I said. I said this earlier too. I was like, that's like incriminating yourself right here. That's what the, the President Nixon got impeached for like he went through well he resigned before he's actually impeached right but that's what they did the whole proceedings he they had like three articles i looked up listen i told you i do my research i looked up there was like three articles the first one the big one he was destroying all the evidence destroying all the evidence burning stuff deleting phone calls all this stuff so that was the first big thing but then the second they had the article is because he's using his position to gain information and all against his political opponents when he runs against them. That's exactly the same thing that this is doing right here. So what he was impeached for before, this is exactly, the only difference is Nixon tried to destroy it. He's just releasing this all to the public. <laughs> what is going on? Is this even real life? Zelensky then says, I wanted to tell you about the prosecutor. He's going on about the stuff and the ambassadors. And then they talk about Giuliani. I, I don't even want to read anymore. Like, is, this is all other. He even talks about Zelensky when he went to, he stayed in the Trump Tower. Obviously, he's a fan of just smoozing him. I think he's smoozing him. And a fan. I think it's both. Because I'm going to tell y'all this is something I noticed on, on the talks today. When he was in town and him and President Trump sat down, had a talk. You know what he was saying? One of the first things. He was like doing his little comedian funny stuff. And he said he wanted to invite President Trump to come to the Ukraine. He was like, you know, you, you never came to Ukraine. I want you to come. And then he threw in. He was like, and something even your predecessor, like talking about Obama, has never done, or he said, and and something, you know, the predecessor president, Obama, has never done was come to the Ukraine. So he knows, and he even used the word, he never made time for it to come visit us. So he's, this guy is smart. He knows how to get to the Trump. He knows Trump don't like Obama. He's using all this stuff this is one y'all got to watch out for. <laughs> this guy right here. He is smart. But if I can say the other way around, this presidency is not. I mean, 
yeah, everybody talks about, it. we want to be like, oh, the, the Democrats are, they, they just as dirty in this. And I'm going to say this, I'm like, I agree with you. <laughs> Politics, I would never want to get into it. But because to be a politician, you have to be a good liar. You have to be this, you have to be that. You have to be dirty in this. It's dirty. And it is corrupt. And yes, I know. Like, I, I don't like it. I don't like, it's sometimes hard. I'm like, uh, uh, because everywhere it is dirty. But at least some people have the sense to be smart about it. Like right here, you releasing all your dirty information to the public and, and sharing it and, and incriminating yourself. And that's what you think, like, that makes it okay? No, it don't. So I'm probably missing some stuff on TV about this now. I'm going to go back, go watch some more. Maybe I'll come back with some daily stuff. But these are just my thoughts, a little breaking it down, some of the information I have learned, the amandanisms, as some people call it, breaking the information down for my peeps here. Let me know what you think. I might get some haters. I know I know there's people out there that, that loves this, that loves the Trumps and everything that they do in the office and, and they do nothing wrong. This is the difference. I don't like them. I like some other people in there, but if the people I liked did this kind of stuff, y'all be like, oh, if it's the other way around, I'd be like, no. If the people I, like, they, they come and do this stuff, I would be here doing the same thing, talking about them, because this is just, this don't make no sense. This just wrong and dirty, and they think it's all right because they talk about the wrong and dirty you do, but that ain't right. That don't make it right. So let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs.